nation huge sums of money and throw in some big speaking fees for Bill Clinton, and you got to play. You got to do what you wanted to do. The amounts involved, the favors done, and the significant number of times it was done require an expedited investigation by a special prosecutor immediately, immediately, immediately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you heard that earlier in the show, Donald Trump calling for a special prosecutor uh, for the Clinton Foundation and the connections to the State Department. Joining us now, Michael Barone, senior political analyst at the Washington Examiner, co-author of the Almanac of American Politics. There it is. And Michael, great to see you again, sir. Hey, good to be with you. All right, so let's talk about the polls. And, and, and you know, there's nobody more uh, uh, tuned and, and more of an expert on what this all means. And, and you could pick a congressional district out of a hat and know exactly who's voting. <laughs> you can name them all. So, so let's talk about the polls. The national polls, in some instances, you know, Hillary, five, six points. But some of the, the, the battleground states, uh, Trump is way, way down. Let me ask you first, can he recover in these battleground states, some of which uh, are even traditionally, you know, uh, uh, red to begin with? Well, can he recover? I suppose the answer is yes, he can recover. Will he recover? Uh, is it going to be hard for him to recover? Uh, I think the answers to that are probably no and yes, but of course, uh, I wasn't one of the early ones who suggested early that Donald Trump had a serious chance of winning the Republican nomination. Uh, look, I think we're seeing some changes on the map here. Uh, one of the questions that I raised in the WashingtonExaminer.com blog post I did on Sunday about these state polls that show Trump running farther behind in what have been the target states than he has been running nationally. Uh, is that uh, maybe this is the effect that Hillary Clinton's been spending, you know, $100 million or some number of that similar magnitude uh, on television advertising in those states, uh, much of it slamming Donald Trump on items where he's vulnerable. Right. Uh, and uh, Donald Trump hasn't been spending any money on television ads. So she's been, uh, you know, had the TV ad battleground to herself, and that may be benefiting her. I mean, the target states, there were 10, you, know, you could take 10 target states from the 2012 election cycle. They've been pretty much the same for four presidential cycles in a row. Uh, voted almost exactly the same as the national average. Uh, but right now, if we're believing the polls, it looks like, uh, it looks like they aren't. And that Trump is, uh, and that we're seeing some mix up of polls in other states like Georgia and Arizona which have been safe uh, Republican in previous elections, uh, in which we're showing some awfully close polling. All right, so you're right. Now, so, so when you talk about uh, being outspent whatever to zero at this point in, in, in battle, battleground states and elsewhere, uh, and that should be changing, uh, and if it does, and then you've got the debates. How important will the, the, the influx of commercials by Trump whenever he decides to run them, combined with his debate performance, how crucial will that be? Well, I think, uh, you know, television advertising for many years in the 70s and 80s and 90s was almost the whole ball game. In Senate and governor races, you could sort of gauge what the campaign was by how much money uh, each side was spending on TV ads. Uh, Trump showed in the primary that you can gain attention and votes by uh, other means than TV ads. And uh, looking at the numbers that have been reported so far, it doesn't seem that he's going to be able to match Hillary Clinton. Uh, but, uh, you know, if she has some good raw material to work with and comments that he's made and uh, attacking uh, business practices and so forth, he's also got some pretty good raw material. Both of those candidates are uh, in terms of negative advertising, target rich environments. <laughs> right. And, uh, the uh, uh, so I you know I it, in in addition I think the debates will be important. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. haven't had an election before in which most voters uh, you know majorities of voters have had negative views about both candidates. Uh, how exactly that works out in the debate? Uh, you can go try to read games <laughs> or some arcane stuff like that. But the fact is we just don't know right. the answer. Right. For sure. Michael, I thank you very much, sir. Great to talk to you. Okay, good being with you. Take care.